Hi, this is Mike, and I'm going to do a demo of how to um, make a flight recording using Java Flight Recorder and Mission Control. So to start, I'm going to just start a demo application. This is a simple um, graphics demo that um, you can get when you download the JDK. There's the samples and, and um, demos package that you can get with the JDK for free, and this, is, this comes with that. So if you want to use this, you can get it there. So I'm starting that demo. It's going to be running. That's what we're going to be monitoring and recording. And then I'm going to start here Java Mission Control and we'll do the uh, recordings from there. You can also, of course, do the recordings from the command line in various ways. But um, for this purposes of this uh, screencast, we'll just use the Mission Control interface. So first I'm going to right click this and start the console and we'll just have that running um, in the background as we do our recordings. So that's uh, showing me the live data from the JVM. So to do a recording I'm going to right click but instead of choosing console I'm going to choose start flight recording like so. And you can see here, um, here's the basic uh, dialog. I can either do a, a fixed time recording or a continuous recording. So let's say I can go for, I could do like five minutes. So what that would do is it would record this JVM for five minutes and then quit. Or I can do a continuous recording, which um, records a certain amount of data. So you could say, I want to record the last 50 megabytes of data on this JVM. Or you could say, I want to record the last five minutes. You type in something like that. And then it'll save the last five minutes of data from that particular uh, JVM and just continue to record all the time. But to start with, I think we're going to do a fixed time recording. We'll start that. And then um, here we have a template manager. And this is what uh, allows us to set up what we record. So the default is to show whatever I did last time. Um, but um, for most situations, you probably would just want to use uh, continuous. And that is the most low overhead option available. And it typically only takes about 1% overhead to monitor. So that's probably your best option in a production environment. For this example, though, I think I'm going to use profiling, which has a little bit higher. It's a little more intrusive. But I'm going to turn on everything so we can see all the features in our recording. So I'm going to go with that one. So I click Next. And then I get additional dialog where I can choose you know how if I want more information to be included in this case I'm going to get uh, try to get quite a bit of stuff so I'm going to turn on the class loading and the heap statistics there I'm going to leave the time set where they are for exceptions I, I actually want to get all exceptions and errors so I'm going to choose that and then the last thing I want to change is uh, for garbage collection I want all the data not just normal so we're going to do that so this is uh, typically you typically wouldn't want to really do this in production this is more if you're, you know, trying to troubleshoot a specific problem or something. Um, and this, I'm doing this to just to show you all the possible data when we get to the various information from a recording. So I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And then I can get even more detailed if you, all these uh, attributes are in here and you can go in and you have total control over this. You can get as detailed as you want about what information record is recorded and what isn't. You can turn stuff on and off here. And um, it's totally up to you. So that's the last step. I'm going to go ahead and click Finish. And then now our recording should be going. So if I right click, and uh, actually not right click, but I'm going to click on that little slider there. And then the, here we have our flight recording, flight recorder information. You can see I've got one recording going and it's counting down. So you can re actually record more than one at a time. So I'm going to go back here, right click. I'm going to start another one. This time I'm going to do a continuous for five minutes. This time let's just do, um, use continuous, the, the, the least intrusive one. I'm going to click uh, next, 
I'll take all the defaults for that. I'm going to click finish. And so now I've got two recordings going, as you can see there. So I've got this one that's going for five minutes, and then this one that's going continuously, and it's going to save the last five minutes of data. Now if I want to, this one won't actually dump anything out unless I tell it to like on the command line, or if I go in right here and choose dump, and then here I can choose how much of the recording I want to dump. And um, so that's how I get information from my continuous recording. And then I can go in here and edit my options or stop it or close it. And so basically um, after, to get this recording, I just got to wait till it finishes or to get this recording, of course, I would dump it. So that's basically how you do a recording using Mission Control.